Hello, this is Hakuta Bean, and today we are going to r slash Tumblr to tumble. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. The five types of cannon. Cannon? What actually happened? Headcanon. What you think happened based on the characters, settings, storylines, and all reasonable ex extrapolations thereof. Hardcanon. What you feel ought to have happened, quite divorced from, from reality or sense. Soul canon. What you know happened, deep down in your soul, regardless of what anyone says, including the creators of the canon themselves. Crotch canon. What you're going at to wish it happened, or alternatively, what turns you on if it did happen. Wow, that is so real. Alright, here's today's controversial post. A good amount of you on here will be like, English was my favorite subject, and a real blog post like, Here's why sex skins can't have symbolism, and stop consuming media with toxic characters. Like, okay, so what were you doing in your English classes then? Because apparently it wasn't learning or analyzing. I'm pretty sure it was dueling pictures of eyes. Yeah, that's what I was in English class. At least I know oh, that sex scenes can have symbolism, and that media uh, will have toxic characters because they make for good characters. Just because they're bad people doesn't mean they're a bad character. I really want Godzilla X Con to be a great movie that uh, knocks my socks off and wins every award, but the Scar King. This is just some guy to me. I'm sorry, but I cannot look at this and see an evil an evil old giant monster that wants to subjugate the planet or whatever. That's someone Scotch grandpa who doesn't take care of himself and, and is about eight years past his expiration date. No kidding. <sighs> so here's a crazy thing that actually happened not too long ago. I actually got enough sleep. If I had time travel, I'd kill Hitler. If I had time travel, I'd stop my favorite politicians getting assassinated. You're all thinking way too small. If I had time travel, I'd stop Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin from dying on the immune to Soviet sabotage, quick kicking off the great nuclear war and devastating half the planet. Good job. This was good to be every time. It's from two days ago, and how many times could there... It's from two days ago, fam. How many times could there have been? Do you think no one else has time travel? Happy one month anniversary to this post that has not allowed me a single day of fucking peace since I made it. Surprise reblog. Stop! It's been months! Months! You can stop! <laughs> wow, if only you had a time machine. Honestly, having reached a billion notes, I think it's safe to say that I end the year of our Lord 2041. This is the most popular Tumblr post out there. I'm killing your parents before you're born. So here, why do you hesitate? Your mom's ability to hold up, up under active gun, gun fire was really hot. I'm your dad now. Is that the plot of Terminator? Where do you think the plot ter for Terminator came from? This is such a, such a classic trademark post that has survived some 2014 screenshot posted to uh, Pinterest, and then the last edition is just last two who say I can't even. Imagine how I feel. This post is a gold mine. This post is an eagle that has a taste for my liver. Or maybe this eagle had to get the idea from somewhere. Happy to your anniversary to this post specifically. <laughs> okay, sorry it off as like a really interesting idea and the fact that maybe OP was a time traveler that might have prevented World War Three for about five for about uh 
seventies, fifty years. You know, for now. I actually just scrolled right past this. I actually do need. Okay. Either way, it is really interesting to think of just a Tumblr user having time travel. Fun adept econ fact: If you kill, if you play a kill team this year, you are doing so over the site of the dash con on ball pit. Holy shit! When you play a there and your dice rolls and those early curse, this might be the one occasion where you can at least suspect there's a reason for it. So, once upon a time, Tumblr tried to organize a convention, DashCon. That ball pit is a symbol of the, deva of the disaster it ended up becoming. It was there, sitting all lonely, like in the, in the giant convention center. If you search for the Ashcon tag, you should be able to find many posts from during the Ash Convention. No words I could say would do it justice. Oh my goodness. No way. <sighs> Wait, people on Tumblr are real freaking people? No, I'm a search and a gym. No, I'm not. I'm a grocery store. No, I'm a shit music platform. No, I'm an online game. No, I'm a country. <laughs> No, I'm a country too, not a real person, sorry. No, this isn't Commonwealth of Massachusetts. No, I'm a fanfic website. Nope, I'm Seth. <laughs> Get out of the freaking road. I'm a trolley. I want my US government for its significant crimes and also a real train. Where's OSHA official? OSHA's dead, hun. Honey. Yeah. I think that the people in charge of corporations killed OSHA so they could stop having safety. for So they can have more profit and make more submarines that are going to implode. You can unscrew the screws from the tray and windows using your screwdriver. I don't track a fish. Oh, rating not cute. Please don't do this. It seriously hurts the train. It could also hurt faster because it could lead them to stick their arm out, out the window. What well, if I unscrew oh, rusty screws and screw new screws from a little bag I stuck on the train? Hmm. I suppose I can allow it. We're seeing a lot of Amtrak act today. That was two separate posts that we saw our Amtrak official on. Generally, one of the saddest parts of this new era of the internet is how hard it is to rickroll someone now. With people's attention spans shortening so much, they wouldn't even get through the first few bait seconds before clicking off the video. Like, I saw a comment that ended up with, by the way, I made it all of this up. And the replies kept treating it so seriously because no one finished the entire four seconds comment. And we're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. A full commitment to what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other guy. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. God make you understand, never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you, never gonna make you cry, never gonna say goodbye, never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. I knew what they were doing as soon as it started, but... <laughs> Suffer. That's all. You deserve to. You listening to me I I up until then, you better, been listen you better listen to me I I I beyond that now. Because I'm not going to give you up. Anyway, in fourth grade, my, my best friend forever was as in a death feud over her chest with a boy in our class. But instead of competing like normal people, 
They decided that the best way to, de de to determine who was chess master was for each of them to select one of the two biggest idiots in class and teach them to play chess, my fair lady style, and see what whose idiot won. We are just now, uh, 22 years later, grappling with the moral implications of this exercise. Didn't... Didn't Russia and America do this with, um two separate parts of Vietnam or North and South Korea and like the first time they did it didn't didn't America lose or rather South um, the part of Vietnam that was American controlled loss that uh, rather Which I still find hilarious. <sighs> okay, there we go. I'm not sure I really need to do that for all three of those. I know one of those definitely needed it. Eh. When they were little girls, they decided that they would be best friends forever. A whale never forgets a promise. I have now died of joy. I don't think I've ever seen art of an old mermaid, mermaidron, mergranny, before. I love it. Oh look, it's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. This is really amazing, but I have to say, I read mermaidron, not mermaidron, but mermaidron. <laughs> and I was like, mermaidron, honor wells, swim out! And I'm ruined. My brain is ruined. I am so sorry. What the heck? No. Mer Granny. I love that though. Mermaids get old too. And it's beautiful. <sighs> to be totally fair, Earth Willy Wonka, at least a couple of those candy factory the casualties involved kids deliberately circumventing reasonable safeguards, sometimes aided and abetted by the parents who were supposed to be supervising them. What happened is at most 60% his fault. Oompa Loompa Doopa Dee Dare, the court finds you breached your duty of care. Oompa Ba loompa doopa dee disc. That's what the court calls assumption of risk. Oompa loompa doopa dee do. Only a partial judgment for you. Oompa loompa doopa dee doubt. The rest of this class action lawsuit is hereby thrown at the out. I forgot to do slams. I can't do the slams. I don't have a melt. I don't have a little hammer. But that was amazing, and I loved singing that. Even if I'm horrible at singing, I'm quite sure that was still doable. Because I stayed monotone. No, it's taking in, in, in a moment. Please do not type out your DNIS like this. This kind of censorship is accessible to those with screen in readers. Thank you. Plain text from the video. Please do not type out your DNIS. Do not interact like this. This type of censorship is inaccessible to those with screen readers. Thank you. Also, don't censor content warning as it voids the whole point of a content warning. Someone saying kill and suit, suicide won't damage your post visibility. 
but saying kill and suicide will stop people from being able to filter out content they don't want to see. God. They're right, though. It, it is hard to filter out when you, you have to consider every possible censorship idea they might have. This is the funniest expression ever pulled in all of Star Wars history. Clearly, you don't own an air fryer. It's not an appliance a Jedi would sell you! you locked in a room with these three adult men, but you feel perfectly safe. Who are they? With three adult men, but you feel perfectly safe. Who are they? No. No! <laughs> Not at all. I mean, I feel safe from them, but I'm suddenly extremely worried about what shenanigans I've summoned into. Exactly! These men mean me no harm. So you feel safe now? How? Oh, absolutely not. Yeah. They might mean me no harm, but... The elf and the dwarf from uh, um, Lord of the Rings literally started off hating each other. So they mean each other harm. And who knows what I might I'd suffer in the crossfire. The co concept of Godzilla being a, re a vengeful representation of nuclear uh, destruction and the concept of Godzilla being a big lizard who fights other monsters are two girls who make out softly, by the way. Okay, the original oh, entire idea of Godzilla was that Japan did not like America dropping nukes in their waters right after World War II. It was triggering for them, which is reasonable because, wow, that was pretty incredible to do to a country you just forced into submission with your bombs. So, they were like, stop, you're gonna fuck up the wildlife. America didn't listen when they were nice. So they were like, okay, fine. We're going to fucking scare you to stop. So they made a cheesy movie. Which, nowadays, isn't all that scary. But back then, it was scary enough to make a, a cure. Or, 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 or a great, great, great granny clutch of pearls. Which is scary enough to make a, a grown man piss her pants now. At the time. So when they saw a movie about a giant monster that was made from nuclear radiation from um, 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 America's BS, they were like, oh crap, we better stop. Alright. Next non zoom in post. <sighs> it's gonna be the next one. Okay. That's a great way to end a post, too. Nintendo be like, stop hiring our games. Pokemon White version 2 Nintendo DS. My brother in Christ! What the fuck? They shut down the eShop too. There should be zero legal protections for or banned in tech. If Nintendo, if Nintendo no longer sells certain games and consoles, it should be 100% for people to make copies and build their own consoles. In fact, Nintendo should be required to release all development tools related to their past consoles so people who still give a shit about them can produce high quality consoles and games. It's re re possible for someone in a nowhere Kansas to produce a brand new, official, old quality copy of Pokemon Emerald to play on original hardware the way it was intended. This is not an issue of, pri of piracy and intellectual property, this is an issue of art preservation. It took decades for video games to finally reach a point of being largely considered art. But game companies do not respect their own products as art. If they did, they would care about those pieces of art being available for as long as people wish to consume them. Even means letting them out of their iron grip. Which is why I, I have to say... 
sure don't pirate Nintendo stuff, but please do. But legally, I have to say, hey, please don't pirate stuff because I can't, because I need to not be held legally responsible for you pirating anything. I don't personally care. In fact, I think it's the right thing to do, but I can't say that on YouTube. Because, you know, I'm saying something anti-corporation on a corporation website. Anyway, I just shot myself in the foot a little bit there, but that's fine. YouTube won't, won't get mad at me. I'm not monetized yet, so I'm good. All demographics and time periods and geography taken fully into consideration. So people were just born to lose. Thomas Midgley Jr. Thomas Midgley Jr. was an American mechanical and chemical engineer. He played a major role in developing leaded gasoline, territorial lead, and some of the first chlorofluorocarbons, very known as in the United States brand name Freon. Both products were layer banned from common use due to their harmful impacts on human health and the environment. This is just like, what is literally born to lose? He's granted more than 100 patents over the course of his career. Midgley contracted polio in 1940 and was left disabled in 1944. He was found straight to death by a device he devised to allow him to get out of bed unassisted. It was reported to the public that he had been accidentally killed by his own invention, but his death was privately, it was privately declared a suicide. Oh, gosh. His legacy is one of inventing the two chemicals that did the greatest environmental damage. Environmental historian J.R. McNeil said that he had more adverse impact on the atmosphere than any other single organism in Earth's history, which will exist still. Author Bill Bryson remarked that he possessed an instinct for, for the regrettable that was almost uncanny. Science writer Fred Pierce described him as a one-man environmental disaster. Thinking of the, let's think of this guy when I made this post. Invented the two most environmentally damaging chemicals in history, and then got polio and immediately killed himself with a contraption. And he did so by accident. That is tragic. I almost want to cry. Damn. One man in environmental disaster. They called that man an organism. As bad as your worst day has ever been, do you have a Wikipedia article saying you possess an instinct for the regrettable that is almost uncanny? You know, that is inspiration. Do you have a Wikipedia article saying you possess an instinct for the regrettable that is almost uh, uncanny? I forgot I'm on Pirate Nintendo games. I am not looking to get sued here. You think a puppet Sherbert Lark Holmes would cast Hermit as Kermit as Holmes and Miss Piggy as Watson based on body type. But no, you do wrong. Holmes is Miss Piggy and Watson is Kermit, and you know Oh, you know I am right. Can someone who could draw Muppets help me out here? I can see it so clearly. I got you, girl. Yeah, you're right. Miss Piggy would be is Sherlock. <sighs> Pounds of Monster at 9 p.m. Why can't I ever sleep at night? Wait, I meant the drink like I'm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hmm. What what other meaning they could have implied from that? Anyway, that was our slash Tumblr. If you like this, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So until then, goodbye. Have fun tumbling.